Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on Windows 10 and pairing Bluetooth audio devices to it. My name is Brandon and I'm going to walk you through the process of pairing a brand new device with your computer, how to select a different device if you have multiple Bluetooth devices or different devices plugged into your computer, and then I'm going to walk you through a little bit of troubleshooting in case your Bluetooth speakers or headset doesn't want to pair correctly. So let's go ahead and get started. I have with me right now a new pair of headphones. They're uh, Bluetooth enabled headphones. And this is the first time that I've paired them with this computer. And I'll go ahead and walk you through the process. The first thing you do is open your start menu. And we're going to go up to settings. From here, go to devices, Bluetooth printers and mouse. And to Bluetooth. From here, you need to follow your manufacturer's directions on how to pair a Bluetooth device with another object. Sometimes that involves pressing a button on the back of the device or holding down the power button to put it into pairing mode. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my headphones, and then I'm going to press the pairing button. And there we go. There's Bluetio, ready to pair. I'll select the device and click pair. This may take anywhere between a few seconds to even a couple of minutes. I recommend that you just be patient with it and allow it to finish its work. And there we go. We now see that I've got Bluetio and that it's connected. Now currently at this point, your headphones should be successfully paired and you can hear audio playing through them from any application that you're using. And you're good to close the window. Now, if you're like me, you have multiple kinds of speakers. You have speakers in your laptop, you have headphones, you might have a stereo that you've connected a receiver box to. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to successfully change between these different devices. So the first thing you do is you come down here to the start again and type in sound and then click on sound. Now sound is a list of all of the different audio devices that are connected to your computer. It includes anything from your laptop speakers, that includes Bluetooth headphones, like the ones that we just connected, or other receiver boxes, like my Amazon Audio Stereo that I have connected right now. That's a receiver box for my bigger JVC stereo. To keep these straight, you can right click on these and hit properties, and then you can rename it or you can even give it an icon, maybe a picture of that speaker. You can usually download these from the web or use a service to upload your own picture and create an icon for it. Now to change to a different device, we can see that I've got the speakers right now, my laptop speakers, but I wanna use my headphones. To do this, I click on my headphones and I right click and set them as the default communication device and I set as default device. And right there, I've moved my sound over to my headphones with the blue check. If I want to use my laptop speakers again, then I right click and I set as the default communications device and as the default device again. Sometimes a device isn't recognized properly by Windows as being an audio device, and this can cause problems when you're trying to listen to music through your headphones. In order to change this or fix this problem, we need to go to our start and open up our control panel. From there, we go to View Devices and Printers. This is a list of all of the devices that are part of this computer. You can see I've got my Amazon Audio right here. We've got a mouse, the headphones I just paired, and even an SD card. If a device isn't working properly, click on it and right click and select Properties. And then navigate to the Services tab. This is a list of the services that your Bluetooth device offers. If audio isn't playing through your headphones, or if you can't hear any sound come through it, it's probably because audio syncing is turned off. Always make sure that that's checked. Checking that will enable the service and allow Windows to send audio through to your headphones, your headset, 
your receiver, or anything else that you might have paired. If this isn't working, you can go through the following instructions to remove the device and try pairing it again. Go down to Start, and Settings, and Devices. And within Bluetooth again, you can select the device that you paired and you're having problems with and remove the device from there. After you've removed the device, go through the process of pairing your device once more and try again. If that doesn't work, feel free to leave a question in the comments below or consult your user manual for your instructions. Thank you so much for watching this video on Windows 10 for Bluetooth audio devices, and I wish you success in pairing your stuff. Have a fantastic day.